Hey guys, for starters, thank you so much for the support from last week. I really appreciate it. I don't have extra responsibilities this week and I'm no longer injured, so I'm finally able to be productive again. And I wanted to talk about Billy and Mandy for a little while now. My favorite show growing up was Codename Kids Next Door, but even as a super fan, I'll admit that the show wasn't the funniest. Billy and Mandy is more the show I watched for the humor, and this is an episode I watched a lot. I definitely remember it playing significantly. This is Brown Evil. I definitely remember yeah. Billy being the dumbest character I've ever seen, even among moron characters. Pat the Baker? Yeah, and he was kicking butt. Really? Well, I think it stinks. Oops, it broke. Pat the Baker! Game over, little dude. But, check this out. Haas Delgado in President Evil? Oh, I remember him. Lincoln is a zombie? Uh, a Years before Abraham Lincoln Obama. Vampire Hunter. Now this is what I call kicking butt. This game is for girls. That's right, Doughboy. So why don't you beat it to the kitchen and make with the brownies like your Pat the Faker pal. Well, maybe I will look good. Make me a sandwich, Billy! What's up with Billy? Can't talk. Fighting zombies. We have nothing to fear. <laughs> but Abraham Lincoln. Oh my god, that poor lost child on the back of the milk carton. Let's get cracking in round two. Fifteen points. for being needlessly mean, but something about the passion of this show... Something about the passion of this show makes me tolerate it and even appreciate it. Oh, hey. Cops and donuts.
Brownie's so good, it raises the dead. Also, the artwork is really simple, but I really like the atmosphere. I'm not even saying simple is a bad thing. These silhouettes are really cool. And the backgrounds may be simple, but you still get the focus on the main characters. And everything fits together really nicely. Scooby-Doo from Zombie you Island is filming down the hall, it. guys. Both of them. What is all the fuss about? All three of them. We got zombies! Zombies? Yeah, well, somebody's gotta go out there and kick some zombie butt. Someone without a brain. No brain? Hey, Mandy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, 
violence. And now for the piece of resistance. Okay, the score there sounds a little like the Kids Next Door theme, and I'm here for it. Also, they did a crossover. I might review that someday. Someday soon. Billy, he's trying. and I mentioned a little earlier in this review that usually I don't like characters snarking at each other for no reason and I don't like characters that are needlessly mean to each other but something about the passion in this show the fact that every character eats it they all dish insults at each other but they're also I feel the passion in it too I feel ultimately 
I've seen several times in this show that they are there for each other when it counts. It's kind of funny how Billy was the one sent to kill the zombies. Because Grimm doesn't have a brain either, but you know, comedy. This is also in line more with the gag cartoons, but at the same time, I like its edge. I really like... I like the environment. I think it's very, very funny. I love the premise. They... <laughs> The Grim Reaper loses a bet to children has to be their friend as a result of forced, forced servitude under the guise of friendship. That's hilarious. I appreciate this show's unique brand of cynicism. Honestly, this show, I would say, shaped my sense of humor a lot more than I realized. I like its brand of... its unique brand of absurd, dark but also very passionate humor. I probably wouldn't do too many, I know, again, gender jokes, that's a thing. I probably wouldn't do as many of those, but at the same time, they both get an equal share of insult in, so it's not, you can't really say it's sexist. They did point out that Mandy doesn't have a nose, <laughs> and Billy's gotta be the one who makes the sandwich. <laughs> Terribly, but he'll make it. Yeah, this is still a show I really, really enjoy. I remember this episode airing a lot, and I still like the dynamic of the characters. I definitely see the 90s angst. I definitely, I wouldn't call it dated, but I definitely recognize it as some of the elements of 90s, early 2000s animation. Let's see. Yep, 2003. But I don't even think of that as a bad thing. Again, because the stuff that's really good in here is really really good i still enjoy it i would be so curious as to what audiences today would think but i would say this stuff is still what with the success of has been hotel and uh, the creator of Ipsy pop was definitely inspired by maxwell adams actually maxwell adams even worked on has been so i would say that stuff like this is still relevant and definitely would still be enjoyed I still enjoy it. I'm also biased. Anyways, good to see you guys again, and see you in the next video, whenever that is. Probably this weekend.